Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jordan Connect here with the second episode of Embrace the Chase, where we are interviewing over 100 entrepreneurs over the next year. And today we have the Amy Grace Dunaway, um, who owns a local business within the Springboro, Cincinnati, Dayton area, uh, what have you. But the reason why we're having her on today, other than the fact that she's awesome and super tons of fun, it's because she's, you're 18, right? Yeah, yep. 18 freaking years old and is running a monster of a business whether she wants to admit it or not um when i was 18 years old i think the most productive thing i was doing was watching youtube videos so <laughs> amy's killing it she's owned her business for over a year two years yeah i started in april of last year so that is insane to me um not gonna talk numbers because that's her personal business but i can tell you guys she's killing it she's probably making almost as much money if not more money as someone who's graduated college in a good job we'll just put it that way she's kicking butt and she's trying to be humble about it but um amy go on ahead uh tell us a little bit about yourself because there's a lot of people who have no freaking idea who you are okay so i'm a senior this year this year looking at colleges and taking a couple college classes and high school classes at the same time and i go home after school and work on monogram stuff keeps me busy it's good i love it i love it so it broke up a little bit there for you guys basically she's a senior in high school and then you heard the rest so real quick we're gonna dive right into uh right your business because that's what everybody's here for they're kind of interested so what in god's name happened for you to be a junior in high school, or were you, you were a sophomore technically, weren't you? Yeah. Were you a junior? Sophomore. End of sophomore year. End of sophomore year in high school. 15 years old at that time, right? Or 16? 16. Yes, you're 16. What made you want to start a business? Okay, so I've always played soccer competitively my whole life and really never had time for anything else. So I was playing soccer and had a really bad back injury. So that took me out for a couple of months and I had a lot of time on my hands. So I just kind of like needed a hobby to pick up. And I had a friend's mom that monogrammed and she kind of suggested it to me. So I thought, okay, this would be a cool way to make money because I was just babysitting at that time. And so I just kind of like, started taking orders before i even knew how to monogram <laughs> and it kind of took off so opened an etsy shop and it's really taken off from there so it's good i love it i love it so what would you say has been your progression from realizing that your business was actually a business and not much of a hobby to where you're at now so i guess the real question that i'm getting at is when did you decide I don't want to make this a hobby anymore. I'm actually going to turn this into a business and see where I can go with it. Well, it's funny because in the beginning, I was totally against having an Etsy shop for some reason. I just thought like, I'll sell it to local people and it'll be fine. It'll just be a little side hobby. And then it kind of like orders started coming in from friends and from just people at school kind of heard about it and were talking about it. And I'm like, this could totally be something that could take off. And so I started an Etsy shop just on a whim and then started getting sales and that was really rewarding it's fun so then with a business as large as yours is and i guess to give people kind of reference to, to how much you're doing so they can understand the time commitment roughly how many orders are you doing either a week or a night however you want to judge that um i get about seven to nine orders a day so i kind of have to keep up with that but an order <clears> could be <throat> like eight items for a bridesmaid gift or five teacher bags you know so it kind of it ranges but i kind of have to stay on top of it once you get behind then really got to pick it up to stay on top of it so before starting your business was monogramming something that was already fun to you or is it just something that intrigued you that made you want to start doing it i mean no i would not consider myself super crafty like i i don't even know how to sew <laughs> But I, I don't know, I like to buy monograms, so I guess I bought the monogram machine in the beginning to make stuff for my friends, and I'm like, okay, this is cool, I can have free monogram stuff for the rest of my life, and it's a cool hobby, and so, no, I wouldn't say that I monogrammed before it at all, not at all. I like it. So then, question for you, from here going forward, now that you're going to be going to college within a year or so, 
what's kind of your plans for your business? Are you wanting to sell it off? Or are you just going to close up shop and consider it a good lesson learned? Or, or what do you want to do? I don't know. I'm really going back and forth between selling it, but also wanting to keep it and maybe keep it going after college because I want to be a teacher. So it could be a side hobby. I don't know. We'll see. A little side hustle. Here, so. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So then here's a, a big question that um, a lot of people are probably itching at. What is advice that you could give to somebody who's either young or somebody who's old? And both of them always have the same excuse. I can't do it because of my age or my lack of experience to start a business. I would just say jump into it and don't let anything hold you back. I really like, you know, when I first thought that I was going to start this, I had people laugh at me like you know, adults or people my age. They were like, okay, that's cute, Amy. <laughs> it's a phase. She'll get through it. But I don't know. Don't let anything hold you back and dream big and always push yourself to, make goals. I always make goals for myself. Like every night I'll write down what my goals are for the next day. And that really helps me to stay organized and kind of figure out what I'm going to do to get ahead for the next day. So that's what I'd say. I love it. That's awesome. Well, um, I guess we can just kind of wrap it up right here. Thanks, Amy, so much for coming on today and trusting me to jump on this crazy show that we're starting. Um, for everyone watching, the link down below, it's her Etsy shop. Personally, my wife and I, we bought tons of stuff from her. She does incredible work. Definitely support a local business. Um, true story, though, the best form of flattery in business is imitation. And she already has local businesses copying what she's doing because they have noticed that she is eating up their market share. And I think it's amazing that an 18-year-old girl who's in high school who, like she said, taking college classes, going to be in school full time, and is doing soccer, is just trolling local businesses who are stuck in their old ways. So check out her stuff below. She's incredible. She'll get it to you um, shipped or one of her employees because what 18-year-old doesn't have an employee? That's just crazy to me. So thanks, Amy. I appreciate it. We'll have you on again later in the future so you can give everyone an update. Thank you. See you.